March Inventory Madness has put Lady Luck on your side. Premier Heating and Air has a huge limited inventory offer on new heating and air units until they're gone. Don't wait. Find Lucky in your mailbox or online at premiereshere.com. The choice is clear. Experience Premier. Like to say good day to everyone. I'm Fred Williams, the uh, service chair of the Dublin Lawrence Development Authority. And on behalf of our members, we want to welcome everyone to this groundbreaking ceremony for Washington, Georgia Corporation. You heard it said time and time again that it takes a strong team to have successful economic development. And Governor Kemp, I'm Peacock proud today to say that our economic development team in Dublin's Lawrence County is the strongest around. At this time, I'd like to take a moment to recognize just a few members of our team. Will the following groups and individuals please stand? Vice Chairman Roger Folsom of the Dublin Lawrence County Economic Development Authority, if you would stand. Uh, right, we have the best part of uh, Jimmy Allgood with us today. <laughs> if she would stand in his stead, it's all good. Uh, Guy Cochran. Uh, we'd like to ask uh, Keith Griffin to stand and uh, Spence Mullis and this Phil Gay here. I want to thank them for their service. Also, we would like for Mayor Joshua Kite to stand and the Dublin City Council where you are. Chairman Trey Kemp and the Lawrence County Board of Commissioners, if you would stand. Let's give the members of each of these organizations a round of applause. Thank you. And our team has stretched further than just Lawrence County. Support from Bradley Harris with the Georgia Electrical Membership Corporation and Alice Thornhill from the Georgia Department of Economic Development has been essential to the success of this project. Along with teamwork, it takes a vision to develop an industrial site of this magnitude. And we stand on the shoulder of, of past visionaries that have served uh, the members uh, and the membership of the Development Authority. Uh, we have want to recognize Scott Beasley and James Malone, who were very instrumental in putting this property together. The celebration, let's give them a hand. The celebration today would not be uh, possible without their dedication, their hard work of everyone that has served as a past member of the Economic Development Authority here in our community. So let's give all those individuals a round of applause as well. We will hear from Representative Hatchett, Mayor Kite, Chairman Kemp, and our state partners in a few minutes. But first, help me welcome to this podium, Senator Larry Walker. Thank you, Dr. Williams. What an exciting day. I'm so honored to be here as we celebrate what I know is gonna be a long, long success story with Washington, Georgia, locating here in this great, great community. I do have a green jacket. I actually bought one at the surf shop uh, soon after I got elected in 2015, and I got it out, and it, it, it has shrunk. <laughs> so uh, all those meals at Rathburn's, I guess, Governor. Um, so I need to hit the surf shop before I leave town today. But anyway, I'm so excited uh, today to celebrate uh, this this milestone and this beginning of a success story that I know is going to happen. Uh, I want to echo Dr. Williams. This has uh, been years in the making, a strong, strong commitment from the leadership in this community, the development authority, county commissioners, the city council, and all of Lawrence County for laying the groundwork. Economic development success does not happen overnight. It's a process that takes a long time commitment and I commend the citizens of Lawrence County for sticking with this and waiting on the right perfect project for this wonderful site. It's a great site. 
I also want to thank the state of Georgia and Governor Kemp. This would not have happened without the Georgia Department of Economic Development support and the support of our wonderful governor. My role is to welcome the governor and introduce the governor. He is, we are so blessed in Georgia to have the best governor and first lady in the country. Would you all agree? They are people of faith. They put family first. They have shown a tireless commitment to the citizens of Georgia, and particularly rural Georgia, which I'm so appreciative of. The, the vast majority of the economic development projects that he's located in Georgia, and he's had unparalleled success, have been outside of the metro Atlanta area. He made that promise to us and commitment to us when he first ran, and he's kept his promise, and I thank you, Governor. There's not a man with, he's got impeccable integrity, tireless work ethic. I've never seen anybody work as hard as, as our first family does, and he is a courageous and a wonderful leader. He's a good friend of mine. He's been a great friend of Lawrence County. I give you our 83rd Governor, Brian Kemp. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More, 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Senator Walker. Thank you all so much. It is uh, an honor for us to be here as we came in from Athens this morning uh, to the festivities downtown. We rode by the site and I saw the tractors and the excavator with the flags on it. And I said, well, I guess in the tent. And I said, well, I guess that's where the groundbreaking is going to be. And the longer I rode, the more I looked at this site, and I was like, man, that is one good piece of dirt right there. So this is uh, certainly an exciting day. And I just uh, want to thank, again, Matt Hatchett and Larry Walker. They do, do such a, a great job uh, representing this community. Uh, as you can tell uh, from what Larry just said and what Matt talked about earlier, they are a big part of our economic development team. We could not do and have the success that we've had in our state without the support of the General Assembly. And especially these two guys are, are great supporters and a uh, big reason we're the number one state in the country for business for 10 years in a row. It is uh, pretty incredible what we have seen uh, in regards to growth in this community. And it would not be possible without all these local leaders. And I know the First Lady and I be a good day to fly a kite too, Mayor. <laughs> but the uh, the First Lady and I get to do a lot of events like this, and um, it's just been amazing for us to see what's happening in this part of our state. And I just uh, want to thank you guys for that. And I, I want to just thank the Mayor, my cousin, Chairman Trey Kemp. I don't know if we're really cousins or not, but you know, it sounds good. <laughs> Uh, Chairman Fred Williams, all the other local leaders that are here, the Development Authority. I mean, we really cannot do this uh, without the locals being involved, your skin in the game. When we have success on big projects like this, and this is a big one, uh, it really takes the local community being involved. We cannot do this from a top-down approach. It's got to be bottom-up. Uh, that's the best way to do it. 
and that's what happened here and i just want to thank all of you you all for doing that um i also just want to uh, thank i know alex is here but commissioner pat wilson in the department of economic development we have been on an incredible run in this state and it started even before i was governor but the last five years have been incredible the last three have been record-breaking and as larry said you know i think 75 80 percent of the almost 180 billion dollars of investment and in just projects that the state was involved with have happened outside the metro atlanta area which is really incredible well over half the jobs that have been created almost 180,000, i think it is now have been outside the metro area so making sure we're giving economic uh, prosperity and opportunity to citizens in our state, no matter their zip code. I also just want to thank our private sector partners like our utility companies and others that are involved in things like this. And that is why we have been named the number one state in the country for business for 10 years in a row. And we get picked by site selectors. They're the ones that are making decisions and working uh, with great companies like these that are seeing the sites, they're having to work with the, the people in the local community, they're having to work with the state partners and that's that's the reason that we continue to be number one and i just uh, want to thank you guys for that this is a incredible location and i know this company is going to thrive here not only with access to road and rail uh, but also to a great workforce and a great seaport you know right now it, everybody hears about the growth that we have at the port of savannah probably the best run port in the United States of America. It's certainly one of the fastest growing and uh, we are growing. And when other ports were slowing down during the pandemic, we never hit the pause button on our growth uh, or serving our customers. And it's gonna pay off for us in the years to come, but also in the decades to come. But in Brunswick right now, if we're not already, we will soon be the number one row rope port which is roll on roll roll off port in the country for moving vehicles and that ties directly in uh, to this project it's also another reason that i've worked with chairman hatchett and senator walker on funding uh, cash infusion of 1.5 billion dollars in my proposed budget this year and the legislature's uh, putting the finishing touches on that so that we can continue to make sure we're building out our freight corridors, making sure that our state routes are in good shape, and making sure that we're staying up to speed with our economic development projects and our infrastructure and, and freight logistics in the state. And I know no one knows better than this community that that's needed, especially when you look at the I-16 corridor. I wanted to just mention the Hyundai Meta plant which is driving a lot of these suppliers and like this great company today. Uh, when you talk to the Hyundai folks, they, they're doing projects all over the world. For people that don't know, they're a very diverse company, but uh, their leaders are telling me that this is the best, fastest project they have in the world right now because of the relationships that we have with the locals on the ground, uh, with, our, with our permitting, speed to market, our workforce, all the things that companies need when they're making decisions like the one here today uh, on where they're going to be. You know, are they going to be here? Are they going to be in Tennessee? Are they going to be in North Carolina, South Carolina? Are they going to be in Texas? You know, where are they going to be? And, and we have those things in the state, and that's why we've had three record years in a row. I like to remind people that the Meta plant isn't one single project, uh, even though it's one facility in a lot of ways. It's also driven a lot of other growth and a mass infusion of jobs and investments in our local economy, just like we're seeing in Dublin. But we're also seeing it in Statesboro and in Metter and in Savannah and other coastal counties. And we're very excited about that. As you know, once fully up and running, Washington's facility here will employ an incredible 460 employees. You know, you used to have massive celebrations when you would create, you know, four or 500 jobs in the city of Atlanta. And y'all are doing this right here in Dublin, Georgia. So I think you should give yourselves a hand. This is quite an accomplishment.
I also just want to let the company know how excited we are to welcome uh, a great company to this part of the state uh, and to doing business in Georgia. I promise you will not regret your decision. This is a great local community. Uh, Commissioner Wilson and I tell companies, no matter where they're headquartered in the United States or around the world, you build a facility in Georgia, to us, you are a Georgia-based company. We will treat you not only today, but for the rest of the time that you're here, like you are one of our own and you are our family. So thank you all for being here. You know, Larry mentioned uh, about my commitment to rural Georgia and have an opportunity no matter your zip code. I'm so proud that we've been able to fulfill those promises, but I also want you to know that we are not resting on our laurels. We have a lot more work to do, not only on providing jobs and economic opportunity and prosperity to rural parts of our state, but we continue to work with our partners in the General Assembly on things like rural broadband, rural health care, and a lot of other things, uh, our K through 12 education system, which I uh, talked so much with Dr. Williams about, um, and, and we're gonna continue to do that. We're gonna continue to push the Georgia way, as I call it, of being a business friendly state, of having great local state partnerships, especially on deals like this, and having a community like you all showed today uh, with, with the great event earlier that Georgia truly is, and, and I say this all the time because I believe it, but it is the greatest state in the country to live, work, and raise our families. And what you're doing here today with the event earlier and the great opportunity that's going to be coming from this company for the hardworking people of not only Lawrence County, but this entire region of the state is incredible. And Marty and I are honored to be with you as well as Amy Porter our youngest daughter to help celebrate and uh, we look forward to maybe coming back for the ribbon cutting when the production's going on and seeing uh, your progress so thank you all for having us and with that i'll turn it back over to fred looking for your pot of gold look no further than century 21 dirt and cornegay realty when it comes to buying or selling your home century 21 is the number one realty company in dublin and lawrence county count on brian howell charlene lamp Adam White, David Deves, Jennifer Bradley, Mark Bateman, Kim Thompson, Pamela Lee, Edie Webb, Jay Brantley, Jim Jarrett, Raina Dubberly, Yvonne Robertson, or broker George Durden. And you'll be sure to find your pot of gold. Century 21 Durden Cornegay. Log on to C21Dublin.com. Stop by 1700 Veterans Boulevard or call us at 478-272-1535. Century 21 Durden Cornegay. Broker George Durden. Durden Cornegay. Broker George Durden. Hi. I'm Brandy, and I would like to invite you to experience our newly renovated mammography suite at the Fairview Park Hospital Breast Center. Our Breast Center has its own dedicated entrance with a relaxing boutique-like waiting area. You can make your appointment online anytime at fairviewparkhospital.com or by calling 478-274-3919. Most appointments take 30 minutes or less, and we will have your results back to your doctor within 24 hours. And we want to thank our governor for his commitment and uh, to economic development here in the state of Georgia and, and to our uh, community. We're super excited uh, today again to be here on the 257 rail surf site. Uh, just a month after the announcement of a Hyundai Meta plant 90 miles away, uh, working with the engineering firm of Hussey Gate Bell, the Dublin Lawrence County Development Authority went to work developing this world-class industrial park. We knew that the site would give our community a competitive advantage and attract the new advanced manufacturers, including the automotive industry, and we were right. In fact, we had our very first meeting with Washington on March 14, 2023, and just one year and one day later, we're here celebrating this groundbreaking of Washington's Georgia's uh, corporation right here in Dublin, Lawrence County. We're honored today to have representatives from Washington locations in Korea, Alabama, 
in Dublin with us today, as well as Washington's contractor, the Dunn Building Company, and locally owned Complete Site Work Services. We're also honored to have representatives from Hyundai joining us today. And would all you please stand at this time so we can recognize you and show you some appreciation. All those individuals, please stand. Washington is an important supplier for Hyundai, producing parts used in chassis assembly, including front and rear cross members and control arms. On the table to my right here, you'll see examples of chassis components that are representative of the parts that would be made right here in Dublin, Georgia. As we see Hyundai vehicles rolling down the corridors of this great state, uh, we can know that those parts that are in those vehicles have been made right here in Lawrence County. With that, we are excited to have Vice Chairman of Washington, uh, Mr. Jane, with us today, to join us today. And we also invite Mr. Jane to come forward to provide a few comments uh, about uh, his company. And also, uh, we're excited to have all the other members of the Washington team with us. And we're going to ask Governor Kemp if he would come at this time as Mr. Jane comes so we can present him with his green jacket so you can feel right at home as you see a seal green. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Thank you for joining us in today. Um, I'm to the ladies and gentlemen. One, I want to express my appreciation to Governor Khan and Representative Hatchard, um, Senator Walker, Commissioner Wilson, and Tony from the Georgia Department of Economic Development. <coughs> Dr. Williams, the board and staff of the Dublin Lawrence County Development Authority. Chairman Camp, the Lawrence County Board of Commissioners, Mayor Knight, and the Dublin City Council. Fashion uh, specializing in automotive sashes and body components has been a cornerstone of the Korean automotive parts industry for over five decades since our beginning in 1975. We've been dedicated to developing high quality products, exceptional services, and driving innovative technological advance through creative research. In the early th this century, we took a journey of global expansion reaching into the United States, India, China, Brazil, Vietnam, and the beyond. Our establishment in the Greenville, Alabama in 2003 significantly contributed to the remarkable development of Greenville. Looking ahead, Fashion Georgia is on track to build a 544,000 square foot facility on a sparring 60 acre site by 2025. We will be investing in the production of electric vehicle components for Hyundai and Gia motors, solidifying our commitment to innovation and environmental sustainability. This investment not only promises new local jobs, but also offers further employment opportunities for our partners, significantly contributing to the growth of Dublin City. In closing, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to all who have dedicated their efforts to bring us to this groundbreaking ceremony, to our esteemed guests and supporters. 
your presence and contribution have been invaluable. As we embark on the construction of Hashin Georgia facility, I humbly ask for your continued support and blessings for its successful completion. Thank you. It may be cold elsewhere, but the deals are hot here at Dublin Chevrolet GMC. As you can see, new shipments are coming in weekly to Dublin Chevrolet GMC. So make sure and get to Dublin quick, because as you can see, they're rolling out of here fast. You ask for more inventory, and we've delivered. Whether it's the most iconic Chevrolet ever made, or the new Chevy Blazer EV, we have it here at Dublin Chevy GMC. And remember, Don sells cars well, only at Dublin Chevy GMC. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Just wanna say a special thank you to each and everybody that made this possible because it took a lot of hard work to make this possible. A lot of us don't really understand how much hard work it actually takes to make a facility like this ongoing. So here today, it is with great excitement and anticipation that we're gathered here today to celebrate the groundbreaking of Washington, Georgia. New chassis manufacturing facility in Dublin, Georgia. This is a momentous occasion. Marks the beginning of a new chapter for our company. Our community in the automobile automotive industrial as a whole. As we stand on this hallowed ground, surrounded by the beauty of Dublin and the promise of what's to come, it is important to reflect on the significance of the moment. Washington's Georgia's decisions to establish this manufacturing facility here in Dublin is a testament to our confidence in your local workforce, our commitment in, to innovation, and our dedication to producing high quality Automobile, automobile components. The facility will not only be a manufacturing plant, it will be a, a beacon of progress and opportunity for the people of Dublin and the surrounding areas. It will create jobs, stimulate economic growth, and contribute to the ongoing revitalization of our community. More than that, it will be a symbol of our shared vision for the future, a future where innovation and excellence go hand in hand and where the automotive industry leads the way on the global stage. As we break ground today, let us do so with a sense of purpose and pride in what we're building together. Let us remember that this facility is more than just a building. It is a testament to the hard work, dedication, and ingenuity of everyone involved. From our team members and local partners to government officials and community leaders, each and every one of you has played a vital role in making this day possible today. So let us embrace this moment with optimism, enthusiasm, and a renewed sense of purpose. Together, let's build a facility that not only produces world-class automotive components, but also serves as a symbol of what can be achieved when we come together with a shared vision and determination to succeed. Thank you very much. Again, Mr. Jane, Mr. Gregory, we cannot be more happy to have Washington here to be a part of my, our community. Uh, we invite you to be a part of every aspect, and, and we look forward to your continued investments and contributions throughout our community. Uh, at this time, we would like to uh, welcome comments from our mayor, uh, Joshua Kite, uh, followed by uh, our chair of the commission, Trey Kemp, and then Representative Matt Hatchett. Thank you, Chairman Williams. Uh, this morning I had an opportunity to talk with uh, Russell and uh, Chairman Jong and SK uh, from the Washington team. And I can tell you, I think we're going to be friends. Uh, not just us personally, but their company and our community. It was great to hear about what they've done in Greenville, Alabama, how Russell's been there for 20 years and reports on what a great relationship and support they have from the South Korean community and the company as a whole. And I think this is going to be a really good fit for our town. 
Now, there are a couple of things that Governor Kemp said this morning that I think are really important uh, to emphasize. One thing that he said was that the state of Georgia is making an investment in infrastructure and in, a, and in the industrial economy that will be good for a whole generation, a generational type investment. And I just want you to know that this project would not be possible without that type of investment from the, and the state support. For example, the city of Dublin has $8 million of sewer improvements to bring sewer to this site. And that is only possible because of the GFA loan that we're able to get from the state along with a state economic development grant. So what Governor Kemp is doing with the GFA program and the state economic development grants are allowing small communities like Dublin to attract large industries like Quashin. Now that of course has been supplemented by the local taxpayers who have supported this project with millions of dollars of sales tax money that have gone to the development authority to develop this site. So this project is a great example of what we can accomplish when we work at both the local and state level together. Now Dublin is, is proud and, and lucky to sit where we do, where we've got Highway 441, Highway 257, I-16, we're halfway between the Port of Savannah and the Atlanta Airport. Logistics, distribution, all of it makes sense to locate here, but this piece of dirt doesn't mean anything unless you have infrastructure to it. And it's those investments that are allowing us to develop an industrial economy here in Dublin. Now, I think that we have to have a diversified economy, but at the foundation level, it's got to have industry because that's where your jobs and your tax base form. And what is great about Dublin is that we are able to have this foundational industrial economy that allows us to increase our quality of life and our standard of living. So I'm very excited about the partnership that we have ahead of us, and I think that this is going to be a mutually beneficial relationship. Thank you very much. Hey y'all, when folks have been asking me, especially recently, why I do this job, the thing I tell them over and over and over again is that I do it for my kids, that I want Lawrence County and Dublin to be better tomorrow than it is today or yesterday. And so I think this is a, a really great step in the right direction. I think this is gonna create a, a fantastic job base that will allow my kids and your kids to have a place to come back to if they wanna to locate here or to, to stay here in Dublin Lawrence County. So, and I think that's mirrored by most of the board. So on behalf of Lawrence County Board of Commissioners, thank you guys so much for the investment in the community. All right, here goes. <laughs> it's a great day for Lawrence County. Let's say it. Come on. Let's come alive. Washington, thank you. This is your day in Lawrence County. We hope you here are you're going to be here for a long time, and we're glad you decided to come. Thank you very much. Jeff Davis made comments when this first we started the groundbreaking. When this first happened, this is for the citizens of Lawrence County. It's a great day for Lawrence County and all the citizens. And one other factor that hadn't been mentioned, and Governor, I don't know if you know this, but there's a partner in this project, Specialized Services. Jeff Graham, wave your hand. The Graham family has been an integral partner not only in this community, but in this state. They turned the dirt for Kia, they're turning dirt for the Hyundai project, and they've done this and continue to work. And I want to thank the Graham family for all the time and investment they've made in this state. Thank you. And as his late father would say, let's go to work and let's move some dirt. Thank you all. <laughs> well, thank Representative Hatchett uh, for everything he does for our community and throughout the state. We could not have finer representation up under the Gold Dome. I want to thank uh, Commissioner Kemp and Mayor uh, Kite. And again, I want to thank our governor and our great state partners for all you do 
uh, for the prosperity of Georgia. At this time, we're going to call Beth Crumpton uh, up to give us uh, our directions uh, in terms of the group photos that will be taking place. And so I want everybody to get those hands up real high, real quick. Come on, it's a great day, right? <laughs> Crisscross applesauce. <laughs> Give yourself a big squeeze. From your development authority, we love you. There's nothing you can do about it. 